Okay, so um, so here we have a uh, another problem, which is a uh, acceleration problem. Um, first thing I'd like to do is draw a free body diagram. So uh, what you can uh, what you can go ahead and do is draw the uh, the surface. Okay, we also have um, an object on it. So we're saying a um, <clears throat> a hockey bag is what it is. So we can represent that by a box on here. Um, it says that it's pulled sideways. You can choose either side. It doesn't make a difference. So we'll say that it's being dragged to the right. Um, the force that's dragging it to the right is 250 newtons. Okay. Um, and it's saying that there's a frictional force um, which acts on this bag and that's 50 newtons. We know that the frictional force always acts in the opposite direction of motion, so that means that this force is going to be drawn out to the left. Um, an arrow should be uh, reasonably smaller than, uh, than the first one we drew to represent that this is a smaller vector. And we call this F, F for frictional force, and this one is F, A, P, P. Okay. The, uh, the problem also gives that this is a 50 kilogram hockey bag. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is calculate F net. So F net is the sum of all the forces. So the two forces we have are the force that's dragging the bag and the force that's the frictional force. So what we can do is assign everything to the right a positive value and everything to the left a negative value. So that would mean that the F net is 250 newtons plus a negative 50 newtons. Okay, which would mean that the F net equals 200 newtons. Okay, so now we have the F net. We can use that into uh, Newton's second law equation, the, uh, the force mass acceleration question, uh, which is the question equation rather. F net equals mass times acceleration, or that could be rewritten. Acceleration is F net over mass. So simply put, um, the acceleration is 200 newtons over uh, the mass, which is 50 kilograms. right here, 50 kilograms, <clears throat> and the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Okay, and we get this unit meters per second squared by knowing that we define Newton as a kilogram meter per second squared. So when you use this unit here and divide by kilograms, the kilograms canceled out and you're left with meters per second squared. So the answer to this problem again is 4 meters per second squared and that acceleration is to the right.